What up? My name is Caitlin Richmond and I'm here in Andre Hall with Carissa Pena, Florida. Hello. We're looking at two different enunciation paintings and this first one is by Fra Filippo Lippi. Yes. The painting was completed in 1440 and was one of Lippi's earliest works. It was painted to be placed in the Martelli Chapel in the Medici Church of San Lorenzo in Florence. I understand that it's still located there today. Yes, yes it is. The painting was authorized by Leon Battista Alberti, an Italian polymath who had recently arrived to Florence. The painting is said to have been done in a simple manner to match the simple Brunelleschian architecture inside the chapel. This depiction of the Annunciation includes many of the similar symbols common to Annunciation paintings, such as the lilies we see in the angel's hand. Yes, Lippi of course included lilies in his work, but gave it an interesting twist, however, by implying that the angel has taken the lilies out of the vase that we see in the bottom right corner. Being that the lilies represent Mary's virginity, this is a very unusual representation. So you're saying that the angel taking the lilies from the vase symbolizes his taking Mary's virginity? That's a strange idea. Precisely, as noted by Frederick Hart, it is as if Gabriel has just plucked the lily of Mary's virginity. And also, the angels on the left-hand side of the painting, that's unusual as well. Yes, it's important to mention the two angels standing there observing the scene. Being that these angels are not found in the Bible, which inspired the painting, one can draw their own conclusions about their meaning. One looks downward in all of the occurrence, it seems, and the other holds his hand out towards the angel and Mary. Perhaps the purpose of the angels are to simply direct a viewer's attention to the main focus of the painting. I see, I see. I notice also that there seems to be more light on the right side of the painting where Mary and the angel are. Could this be a representation of the presence of God and the divine? Oh, definitely. I think so. And another notable feature of the painting is the dove representing the Holy Spirit that is flying down from heaven. And this is definitely a move towards a more realistic interpretation of Mary becoming pregnant with Christ, as previous depictions included a literal flying fetus coming down from heaven. <laughs> definitely a move in the right direction, I'd say. Much more realistic. Yes, and we see an even more realistic interpretation in Leonardo da Vinci's version of the Annunciation. This painting of the Annunciation was completed in 1472, when the Italian Renaissance was well underway. It is regarded as the earliest masterpiece done by Leonardo. And this Leonardo da Vinci was quite a fascinating man, wasn't he? Yes, quite. According to R. Langton Douglas, Leonardo as a boy developed a keen interest in nature that remained with him throughout his long life. Not only did he become a painter, but also an accomplished sculptor, architect, musician, mathematician, scientist, engineer, inventor, anatomist, geologist, cartographer, botanist, I mean botanist, and writer. My, my, that's quite a list of accomplishments, I'd say. Completed 32 years after Lippi's work, Leonardo's painting shows an obvious move toward an even greater focus on realism, as the Holy Spirit coming down is not shown literally or symbolically and is simply implied. Yes, we still see the common symbols found in Annunciation paintings, the lilies and the books that portray Mary as an intelligent and intellectual woman, but the change, the shift to a more realistic depiction, is quite obvious. There are numerous things that stand out to me when I look at this painting. For starters, there is a huge contrast between the vivid colors of Mary and Gabriel's robes and the very dull and toned down scenery behind them. It looks like Leonardo really knew what he was doing. Yes, this painting in particular shows his mastering of tonality and light and his skill in creating a very accurate portrayal of aerial perspective. And aerial perspective is? The effect that the atmosphere has on the appearance of an object as it is viewed from a distance. As you can see, the tonality of the mountains becomes lighter the further away they are. Leonardo did such an excellent job at giving his painting this effect. I think that Fra Filippo Lippi and Leonardo da Vinci both did an outstanding job at portraying the Annunciation scene by use of the new artistic techniques of their time. Cheerio! <laughs> <laughs>